Hello, this is Alfred with Crest LLC. I am an Xactimate certified trainer, so you know you're getting trained properly and correctly with Crest LLC. So here's a shortcut you should definitely know and be using, and that is the shortcut to make a room a subgroup of another room. And remember, a subgroup is when you make a room part of another room. And that shortcut is Control Shift C. Hold down the Control button, hold down the Shift button, and hit the C key, which stands for Combine, which is what you're doing, combining those two rooms. So all you do is lasso any part of the rooms that you want to combine, and notice it selected them both. Hold down Control, hold down Shift, hit the C key, and you'll notice the parentheses one right here. That's telling you it is now a subgroup. That closet is part of that bedroom. Now Control Shift S separates them, but you really don't want to do that because if you do an estimate in that bedroom that includes that closet, if you separate those rooms, you lose the items in the subgroup. So really, you shouldn't be doing that. Uh, but Control Shift C, you should be using a lot. And if you can't remember that shortcut, just lasso the two rooms, right click in one of the rooms. Sometimes you have to do it a couple of times. And notice right here, combine, Control Shift C. There's your shortcut. But after you do it a few times, you'll remember it. A couple of examples. You got an L-shaped room and you want to put a you want to put a tray ceiling just in this part right here. Can't do that. Because if you do, this is what happens. So what you do is split it up into two rooms, delete the dividing wall, put a tray ceiling in the room you want. Now lasso the two rooms, control shift C, and it essentially one room, open up the properties of the second room, hide the label, and now you got what you wanted. Another example, you got a house where someone steals a, a big gun safe, drags it across the floor, damages a continuous wood floor. That's the only damage in the house. You just want to enter one line item. So what you do is select all the rooms that the floor was damaged in, which in this case would be all the rooms except the bathrooms. So the way you do that is just click on one room, hold down the control key, and then click on all the others that have the wood floor, and that selects just those rooms. Now notice I've selected all the rooms except for the ba three bathrooms, the lanai, the laundry room, and the garage. And now I hit Control Shift C. And notice all the rooms have the parentheses and a number that tells you they're all subgroups. They're all one room and basically they're all a subgroup of the living room because it takes the smaller rooms and makes it a subgroup of the bigger room. Now my one entry, remove and replace that floor will cover pretty much the whole house except for the, the rooms that don't have those the wood floor in it. And that's the shortcut to make a subgroup. Well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. I think it's down here somewhere. Or even better, subscribe so that you get to see any of the future videos that I post on here. Have a great day. We'll see you at the next video.